Allah instructs you concerning your children for the male, that is for the son, what is equal to the share of two females, that is the daughter. This again is a point where there's a lot of hue and cry and this again is used to misguide Muslim women saying that, see, Islam gives a double right of inheritance to the daughter, uh, to the son as compared to the daughter, to the husband as compared to the wife and to the brother even in certain conditions when the brothers and sisters are getting the inheritance. So this is a, a, a very big injustice on the part of Quranic educations. What is this? Why is the daughter being given half as compared to the son? Just let me explain you in short. You know that in Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts no economic commitment on a Muslim woman. The Muslim women are allowed to own their personal property. They are allowed to earn according to the limits of Quran and Sharia. And when they earn, and when they possess their property, her property and her wealth is just her wealth. She has no duty. She has no obligation of any family member whatsoever. She is not provide, supposed to provide for her father, for her brother, for her son, for her husband in any form whatsoever. Moreover, beyond that, any Muslim brother, father, husband or son cannot force her mother, daughter, any Muslim relationship women to earn for him. And if she is earning, he cannot forcibly take it from her. And if he does so, he is doing a sin. He is committing a sin. So in this background, when she uh, she is allowed to earn, She's allowed to own her own personal uh, property and moreover, she has no economic commitments. In this background, she is still on top of all this being supposed to be provided by her father, by her brother, by her son, by her husband in all relationships. It is like she is getting a stipend from all of them. It is like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is allowing her to get a scholarship from all of them. Her her mal, her her wealth is her wealth. And she is on top getting her sustenance and her source of income from all her main relatives. And they're supposed to give it to her. And now at the time of division of inheritance, she's again also again been given this. She's again been given right in this. And on the contrary, if you just look at the Muslim man, the Muslim man in all relationships, may he be a husband, a brother, a father, a son, he is duty bound. It is an obligation for him to fend, to fetch, to provide and to look after and to economically support the women folk around him. He cannot ask them to earn for her. Uh, he cannot ask her to uh, ask all these women to earn for him and he cannot he cannot forcefully take out from their from their wealth and now at the time of inheritance is like is like one of the only few situations in his life when he is at the receiving end so now when he is at the receiving end one of the only few situations in his life he is being given twice as compared to the muslim women because in future again he will be providing for them and he will be looking after them and he will be he will be providing and he will be supporting them so that is why allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given the son double share as compared to the daughter